Hello and welcome to another Celebration Assembly. Here we are on the 26th of February. It's Friday and it's time to celebrate. Well, let's start off with the best news of all. We are all going to be welcoming you back to school soon and we cannot wait to have you coming back on Monday the 8th of March. The only thing is, we do have to wait. We've got to wait just another week and then it'll only be one more weekend and then you can come back to school again. So that is absolutely brilliant. That's the thing we've been looking forward to the most. Now, in the meantime, lots has been going on this week. We're planning lots to get ready for you to return again, making sure that everything is all set, ready for your return. And lots of other things still to come in the next week, our final week of home learning. So you have got a job at home. You have got to try and make your mums and your dads and your carers really proud next week because it's the last week of home learning. You've got to do your best to show them everything that you've learned, all the new skills that you've got, all the new habits and work skills you've got, maybe that extra bit of independence so that you're ready to come back feeling proud, confident and brave on Monday the 8th. Now, some announcements. Here we go. We had yesterday a lovely visit from the Strictly Come Dancing winner, Joanna Clifton, and I've put the recording of the video on our website so that you can see it. There were a couple of people I know who wanted to see it, but they just couldn't make the session. So they'll be able to find that on the website and where all of our assemblies normally are. And if you click on the link in the description, if you click on the description below, you'll see all the timings which show you where the lesson starts and where the question starts and where Joanna's little speech was. But it was a really good session and we were really pleased to team up with two of our friendly schools, Wrangell Primary just up the road and Sleaford Church Lane, who were working with a little bit and that helped us make it a bit more, a bit cheaper for yesterday's, uh, yesterday's special guest. Now, next week, on I think it's Wednesday the 3rd of March, we've got another special visitor. We trialed this out uh, earlier in the week uh, just to see if it worked with children in school before we do the big event, Mr Motivator. Now some people will be going, who on earth is Mr Motivator? And some people will know exactly who he is. Mr Motivator, not his real name, his real name is Derek Evans, is a 68 year old, but you wouldn't believe he's 68 at all. He's a fitness expert and he was on our televisions long, long time ago. When I was little, he was on TV and every morning he'd do a little exercise routine and then he kind of disappeared off TV like some celebrities do, a little bit like when Joe Wicks went missing after the first lockdown and then came back again. So Mr Motivator is back on our screens at the minute because he's doing lots of these sorts of events trying to get people active again. And he's going to do a special event on Wednesday morning with everyone at school and everyone at home. And he's going to be going to be doing it with over three or four thousand children all at the same time. So I'm looking forward to seeing you there. There's a little video clip from him here welcoming you to the event and reminding you to get ready for it on Wednesday. Okay. Hey gang, how are you doing? Wednesday morning, the 3rd of March, 9.30 in the morning. Motivator is going to be in the house. It's exercise for the whole family with loads of good music, lots of attitude, having a party. So wake everybody up. Wednesday morning, 9.30, the 3rd of March is going to be a motivational experience. Who oh, say yeah. How? Say who? The next announcement goes to the uh, the wonderful efforts of Freddie and Danny Mustel. Freddie, you two, I have heard that you have raised over £800 for a special ward in a Pilgrim Hospital. You and your family have been working really, really hard to um, make sure that you can get as many steps in as you can and you've been raising money all along the sa at the same time. You've done an incredible job because you've raised such a fortune for palliative care as the care for people who are extremely poorly and they need to make sure that they get the best care that they can and I think that's an absolutely incredible incredible achievement for you two I can't I cannot say it enough how fantastic it has been to see so many of our children getting involved in these really really important events coming up with the ideas themselves and speaking to their parents and just going for it and there's a lot more going on 
behind the scenes that we don't always know about or that we don't always find out about. But when we do find out about them, we love to sing about them because you do make our school proud as much as you make your, your family and the community really proud as well. So big thumbs up to you two and well done to the whole family as well. On top of that, I wanted to say a big well done to all the parents because actually, thank you very much parents, already in less than 24 hours, I've had 81 responses back for the survey that I sent out yesterday. It's been really, really interesting to see the responses and that's going to help me over this weekend and over the next few days as a plan and I'll share those results with you um, uh, uh, next week. But what it, what it does show me is that we're really looking forward to coming back, parents, children, all looking forward to coming back. And I'll let you know the staff are feeling exactly the same as well. So thank you for your, your feedback. It's really, really helpful. Okay, and one more week, parents, to go, because uh, as uh, one, one of the, two of the children said to me earlier this week in a Zoom session that they think all the mums and dads deserve a certificate at the end of homeschool as well. So uh, that's something that really made me smile. Okie dokie. Now, another upcoming event. We've got uh, Ella Francis in reception. Ella's mum has set up a new Facebook group. Now, this is something that's going to take a little bit of time to get going, and then I think it's going to keep going for a really, really long time. I'm going to show you the name of the group in case people want to join it, and I'd really, really be fantastic if as many people could join the community as possible. I'm not very good on Facebook, to be honest, uh, but I will be setting up a little page myself to be able to get onto this one. And the whole point of the group is for people to be able to sell on those loved clothes that they've had. You know, sometimes when we take our clothes to the clothing bank outside school, you wonder where they, where they go. And sometimes your clothes are a bit more special than that, but you want to sell them on because they're in really good condition and they're really good quality so that other people who would like to buy them. Now, what the, the plan is for people to be able to sell those on to other people in the group, and the instructions for doing that are really simple and we can go through that in another assembly, but also then for the donations for that to come back into the school fund and that can help us put on more events for children in the future. So that's gonna be really, really brilliant and I'm looking forward to seeing how that, how that develops over the coming weeks and months. So step number one, if you can join the group, that would be absolutely brilliant, okay. And the, finally, a bit of a thank you here. You can see a picture of, uh, of a cake that was made. Mrs. Lomas made this cake for Millie Oliver because Millie, I think as you and Mrs. Lomas live very close to each other, I understand that you've been making some bread and learning to make some bread and you've been making it and sending it over to Mrs. Lomas's house and she's absolutely loved it. Her and Mr. Lomas have really enjoyed it. So they made you something in return. So I haven't got a picture of your bread, but I have got a picture of Mrs. Lomas's cake that came to you. So well done to you two for learning those new skills and for also for, you know, rewarding each other and making each other feel really happy. It's all those sorts of little interactions which are so important and so special. Okie dokie, shall we get on with some house points? Who has been awarded the uh, bronze certificate this week? So since we've returned, we've got Harry Jarman in the Maples class who's got his 25 point certificates, but four children with their 50 point silver certificates. So big congratulations to you, Harry. And to these four children who got the silver certificates, Isla Ragley, Thornley, superstar. And I've just been down to see you in class. You're doing very well. Um, Henry Willerton, well done, Henry. I must admit, Henry, although Joanna Clifton didn't notice it yesterday, didn't say your name, I don't think, I saw you, I thought you were amazing, and you would have won my uh, my award there. I thought you were incredible, so well done. And James Blythe as well, congratulations to James and Rosie Lads, two very hard workers there. You've been brilliant, and 50 points this year is an absolutely brilliant achievement. So, shall we see how it's affected the house points for the team? So we've got, well, two teams already on the same points after week one. 61 points each for the Serpents and the Phoenixes and Dragons with 63 points in second place. Dragons, could this be your term? Well, who knows? Hopefully it puts Eagles in first place with 82 points. So let's see how you get on for the rest of the weeks. But there we go. Well done. Good start, Eagles, but really looking forward to seeing how the Dragons come on. I think, Dragons, you have this habit of having a really brilliant first week and then it just sort of slowly peters out. So can you keep it going this time, Dragons? Right, we're on to the most exciting part, aren't we? It's the winner's wall. And who has been brave, brilliant, kind, honest and themselves? Well, lots of people this week. 
but each teacher has had to pick one person. So let's see who we've got in the Pines class. We have got Grace Tomkinson. Grace, brilliant progress in literacy. Mrs. Housen is so improved with all the areas that you've improved in, reading, writing, and speaking. What a great start to the term. Well done, Grace. And on into the Poplars class. Who has Mrs. Wheeler chosen? She has chosen Millie Hood and lots of nice reasons here, but Millie Hood, you bring in such enthusiasm into school every single day. You work so hard and you always have a smile. Millie, there are lovely things that people can say about, uh, about each other and that is a lovely thing to have said about you. Enthusiasm and smiles can take you a long, long way. You know, if you keep trying and you keep going, you're helpful, you're kind and you're a pleasure to spend the day with. What a lovely thing to hear. Well done, Millie. Who has been awarded the Redwoods winner? It has gone to someone who's been a real star He's been working at home. He's been sending in lots of home learning, lots of photos. He's been working very hard. Both Mr. Flynn and Miss Bellamy are extremely proud of him. Who is it? It's Archie Warren. Congratulations, Archie. Well done to you. And then we go on to the Maples. Well, this person has been a star through home learning. Well done to you. It's another boy, works really hard, listens to the feedback, and always is there for an answer in the Zoom sessions. Well done, James Barsby. Good stuff, great stuff, can't wait to have you back. Into the Oaks class, who has Miss Honeyball chosen? She's chosen Logan for his brilliant progress in maths. Well done, Logan. You've become so much more confident in your maths learning this term, and the most important part, Logan, ready to take on the new challenges, and that's what's so impressive. You're thinking logically, you can explain your work, and you can connect to the maths learning as well. Logan, not only a good mathematician, but a great dancer, because I saw you as well yesterday. Well done to you. And finally, who is going to get the award in Cedars class? It's another child who's been working at home, and she has been brilliant. Throughout the whole of lockdown, she has tried her very best with every home learning task. Now that is quite an achievement. Kiva, Kiva has challenged herself, asked questions when necessary, but also make sure that the work is still at the standard that she would normally set herself. And that's been the really difficult thing for some people to try and keep that standard as high as possible all the way throughout. But what a great attitude and how that will help you when you come back to school, Kiva, that is absolutely incredible. So there we have it. All the winners this week, that doesn't mean that everybody else hasn't worked hard. You know, it's ever so tricky for teachers to choose, but those are the ones that stood out this week. And remember, next week is that final week of home learning. So it's time to gear yourself up, get back into those good habits if you've lost them a little bit or if they've started to slip a little bit, and get excited about seeing your friends again and being able to learn in school again. And there's so much more that we're gonna talk about next week as well. Okay, have a lovely weekend and we'll see you next week.